So you're at home or working or somehow locked out of your Cisco router or switch and you don't know the password to it. But don't worry, you're not gonna lose your job today if you are at work, because I'm gonna show you how to do the password recovery process for the newer Cisco switches and routers, along with showing you how you can actually recover the configuration for the device so that you don't have to build this thing from the ground up again. But anyways, enough with the intro, let's get into it so you can recover your Cisco device. All right, so the password recovery process for a Cisco router or switch is pretty easy. It only takes three steps and uh, at least one console cable so that you can get into your device. Now the three steps include rebooting your device and interrupting the boot so that you can get into ROM on mode. The second step is to change the boot configuration so that the switch ignores the startup configuration and boots up with essentially nothing on it. And the third step is copying over that old configuration that you wanted to recover or just wiping it if you wanted to start with a clean slate. And I'm gonna show you how to do this for older Cisco routers and uh, even some of the newer switches that don't have that mode button. Uh, specifically, I'm doing it on a Cisco 1921 uh, router. Uh, however, this is going to work for a lot of other ones. First thing you want to do is obviously make sure it's powered off and you're going to want to go ahead and connect in your console cable. From there, you're going to want to go ahead and open up your terminal software and set up a session to it. I'm using PuTTY in this case, so let's switch over to my desktop. I will search for PuTTY and here it is here. I'm going to switch this over to Serial. And obviously, if you don't know your baud rate, you might want to check to see what it is. Look up the different variations you can use on Cisco.com or whatever. And then switch the serial line to whatever COM port you're using. In this case, I use the mode command. And I found out that my COM port is 4. Most likely, one's not going to be it. So I'm going to switch this to 4. And I'm going to start a session. Now I've got a session going. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the power cable and boot up the Cisco switch. All right, so now that the router or switch in this case is booting, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and right click on your PuTTY session, and you're gonna to wanna to spam special command and break. And just do this repeatedly until you enter Raman mode. Now, sometimes you can just make sure you're in the session uh, and use control C and uh, that'll work. However, that doesn't work in my case, so I just have to use the special a command break option instead. So just keep hitting break, just keep hitting break, and eventually we should end up in Raman mode. All right, so I was able to interrupt the boot by continuously spamming that break special command here with PuTTY. I'm not gonna lie to you, I missed it the first time and the started booting, so I had to do it again. But anyway, so we're in Raman mode, and the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is make the screen bigger so you guys can see. Anyways, so now we're here. The first thing we need to do is change the configuration so that it ignores the startup configuration. So we're gonna go ahead and type in config, and we're gonna do 0x2142 and this essentially says it's going to go ahead and ignore startup configuration now if that one doesn't work for you you might need to use this instead switch underscore ignore underscore startup underscore cfg equals one that's not what i need to use in my case so if the config 0x2142 option doesn't work go ahead and give that a try and then after you've entered that we'll just do reset which will allow this thing to boot up and it should ignore the startup configuration and should come up as if it's a brand new device with nothing on it so that we can copy over our old config. So let's wait for this to boot up. All right, so it took forever, but this thing is finally booted up and it's asking us if we want to run through the initial configuration dialog. We're going to go ahead and type Fuck no. no. And now we are in this thing as if it's a brand new switch, nothing with no configuration on it. If we type in EN to enter uh, enable mode and then do a show run, we will see essentially there's nothing on this thing. Now, if we want to recover that old configuration, what we're going to go ahead and do is do a copy startup config to running config. And we will do enter. And now what this just did is obviously copy all the old startup configuration that we had on this that we didn't know the password to and it moved it over to the running configuration. So if I do a show run, we can see here that we've got the host name R1, got our enable secret, a whole bunch of old stuff on here, username for somebody. Now, obviously we're gonna pretend I didn't know the username for this stuff. So what we wanna do is go ahead and switch the username or create a whole new username for us or create a whole new user that we actually know the password to. So username, admin, uh, secret, the password will just be admin for this as well. And then we'll switch the enable secret password. So enable secret, I'll just put the password for that admin as well. And then we will do write Oh, do write memory. And this will save the running configuration. Oh, one other thing we need to do is actually switch the configuration so that it doesn't ignore the startup configuration. Otherwise, it's just going to boot up as a new switch again and going to annoy us. So we need to type this in uh, config dash register. And we're going to want to switch this to 0x2102, which essentially says that it's actually going to boot 
from the startup configuration and not ignore it now that we know the password. And also, if uh, the config-register command doesn't work for you here once you're actually in the switch, you might actually have to use this command here, no boot manual, and this essentially is the same thing as the config register 0x2102. So those are the two options you might need to use depending on your type of device and your operating system. And then we'll do a do write memory again. And now if you reboot the switch, it should come up with this new running configuration and you're good to go. You're not locked out anymore. Now, if for some reason you do end up in Raman mode again, just do the config command and switch it over to 2102 and you should be Gucci. But that's it. That's essentially how you do the password recovery for some of the newer switches and routers. But that's it, guys. That's how you do password recovery for newer Cisco switches and routers. If this was helpful, definitely drop a comment and like down below. I appreciate it. See you in the next one. Peace.